guys and welcome back to this week's best of three battler we are going up against peter this week um who i've already mentioned a million times is and for just cause as well you know just cause uh he is the current special champion from the bilbao special event that we had a couple of weekends ago absolutely stormed that event only losing out to the metro uh which is a very funny story he missed the first round due to getting on the wrong train to the event and that was the only set that he lost the entire weekend, which is in insane considering the field of opponents that were there. So he did like super well. As always, I will uh, tag Peter's uh, social stuff down in the description below too. You can go on Twitter, follow him and see how he continues going this year. Because like I said in yesterday's um, game, I expect a lot of strong finishes coming from him for the rest of the season as well. Um, and he's almost got his world's they won't invite locked up already at this point of the season. So very, very good from him. Um, we've had two really good sets so far this week. Uh, we're going into game three today. We are going to be playing our Tapu Lele kind of P2 mashup team um, against Peter's uh, Bilbao special championship team that he, he won the event with. Uh, game one was very close. Game two was really close as well. And um, so it's going down to this decider one. And hopefully it's been exciting for you guys. And uh, hopefully this third match doesn't disappoint. So, just to recap on Peter's team, he is running that. Arcanine, Tapilele, Garchomp, Celestila, Alone Ninetales, and Alolan Muck. So, um, Peter did change things up in Game 2. He decided to bring the Garchomp. Revealed that it's not... I kind of expected it to be Scarf Garchomp for some reason. Um, but it's not Scarf Garchomp. You've got to imagine it's probably Tectonic Rage. We didn't see any um, Z-move come out from anything... Um, on his team in game two. Um, you kind of expect maybe the Tapu Lele to have it or the Garchomp, but the Garchomp is probably the one thing that does have it. Um, now, we brought our, our Porygon 2 yesterday in, in game two, and it did extremely well. Um, and I think I want to continue with that again today. Um, but whether I want to lead it, I don't know. I might want to bring it in the back, I think. Um, so, might need Celestila, Oregon 2, um, or Coco, maybe. Um. <sighs> Let's go Arcanine, P2, Coco, and Celestila. Yeah? Should we go with those four? Let's go with those four again. Because I think they worked in yesterday's game, and they can work against in this game. We've just got to play it maybe a little bit differently than we did yesterday, and just bear in mind the information that Peter now knows, and also us remember the information that we know about his team as well. So we are going to see that Nine Tails and the Tapulele lead off. You know, and we do get our Porygon too. He is going to go for that Aurora Veil. You've got to imagine. As soon as possible with this Lala Nine Tails. Do you see the psychic terrain get thrown up? I could potentially pull a double switch here. To get a download boost and attack again. Not what we're wanting. And that intimidates. So, hmm. Do we expect the Tapulele to stay in, or do we expect the Arcanine to maybe come in on that slot? Because I'm kind of tempted to go for a Flare Blitz into it. Hmm. Definitely want to bring in my Tapu Coco. I think I'm going to go for a Flare Blitz into the Ninetales, and I'm going to switch out P2 into Coco here. Um, because if we can get decent damage onto the Ninetales, regardless of the Aurora Veil, Coco might be able to pick up the KO the next turn. And at the very least, we're changing the terrain, getting rid of that psychic terrain, which is going to help, you know, things like Arkham and survive a bit, a bit longer than they normally would. So there's that Aurora Veil psychic coming out from the Lele, revealing that it's actually Scarf Tapu Lele there. So at speed in the Nine Tails, we are going to get the Flare Blitz off into that Nine Tails, but because of the Aurora Veil, it's going to be able to take it. We just leave it outside of Berry Range as well, which is pretty nice. Um, but we are. Bit threatened with our, um, our 
Taku Koko at the moment because of that Taku Lele um, being scarfed, you know, is able to take those attacks a little bit better than um, it's ignore me because it's scarfed, it's threatening the KO onto the Koko right now. I'm gonna go for a Will O' Wisp into the Night as I expect him to switch out here, and I'm gonna switch in my Celesteela at this point for my Koko to take that potential psychic coming onto it. But we might just see the Arcanine come in for that Ninetales, which would be a bit awkward. And it would make a lot of sense that it, it's the play that you would do, because... But it is the Garchomp, so we're hopefully going to catch this Garchomp with a will o -Wisp, which is massive. So there's the Psychic coming out into the Arcanine this time. And hopefully with the Hail... Residual damage onto our Arcanine, we will be able to proc our berry. But getting that Garchomp on the switch is pretty huge for us. We're gonna proc. I don't think it's procking our berry on our Arcanine, so we might have to just protect this next turn. <coughs> so I think. What I'm going to do is just protect Arcanine here, so we can just self-proc our berry, and I don't know if I want to go for a Will-O-Wisp. Hmm. Do I want to go for a Leech Seed into the Garchomp or the Lele slot? I mean, I mean could... it's likely that the Lele switches out here though. So let's go for a Leech Seed into that slot. The Lele going out, Arcanine coming in. And I wonder if we see a Tech Rage maybe come out from the Garchomp into our Arcanine here. Or maybe a Sword Stance even. Sword Stance, so nullifying. That Ben reduction to its attack. But we are going to be able to proc our berry with our Arcanine, which is the, the main thing here. I think we need to get our Arcanine out and maybe sacrifice Coco this next turn. Does the Garchomp just go for another Sword Stance here? That's the question. I'm just going to protect Celesteela, switch the Arcanine out, bring Coco in. I think the worst thing here could be that Garchomp going for another Sword Stance, but we don't want to risk allowing Peter's Arcanine to take down our Celesteela. It's going to be so important going forward in this in this game. So, see what this Garchomp goes for. Rock Slide. This will take down our Coco, but it does give us that free switch into Arcanine here. Coco going down, Arcanine just goes for that Flare Blitz. And if we can take a little bit of chip from the hill. The nice thing is, we still haven't revealed the wide guard on Celestilla yet, which could come in quite handy, but we need that Garchomp to potentially burn its Z move, which it's bound to be holding. So, let's bring in Arcanine. I think what I'm going to do as well is switch Arcanine straight out for P2. And go for a Leech Seed onto the Garchomp. I'm hoping this turn isn't the turn that he goes for the Tech Rage. But P2 should be able to take like minus one. 
take away from Garchomp regardless. It just puts us in a little bit of an awkward situation to get the conversion, the, the Z conversion up later on in the game. We get an attack raise, which isn't helpful. Rock Slide coming out. <sighs> Hopefully we don't see any flinches. The flinch here would not be ideal. Flare Blitz. Doing some big damage. Do we get the Leech Seed? We do. We do hit. Excellent. Okay. And the hill stops. So what do we do here? Do we go for Z conversion? Let's go for Z conversion. I need to make sure I'm locking it in. Because this is probably a really good time to go for the wide guard. If any. Really. We might see a Z move come out here from the Garchomp. Which we are. We've got to hope that P2 survives this. Come on, P2. We do take it. Okay. So as long as we don't get the double N on this slot, we should be all right. And I'm hoping we see a snarl. That's what I want to see, a snarl come out from this, this Arcanine. To try and reduce the damage from this Flare Blitz though into Celesteela, or is it into the P2? It's into the P2 doubling up. Ugh. That was completely wasted. Okay, so. That's slightly more difficult. <laughs> no! So we maybe should have just cut off not doing that for at least another turn. I guess we are going to be able to get our, our nine in here for another intimidate round of intimidate. Um, but we're going to proc the berry on this poison arcanine now. It's just going to make things a bit way more difficult. Yeah, we would have been better off sacrificing Arcanine in that position, then bringing in P2 and then setting up. But it's not all over just yet. I mean, probably want to get the, the, the Arc. Do you want to get the Arcanine out of there or do you want to... Because potentially this Arcanine just goes for a Will-O-Wisp into our Celesteela, so we could just get some damage off onto it. Garchomp isn't doing too much, but that's a thing, like, we want to be getting the Heavy Slam into that slot. That's why we should have Heavy Slammed into that slot, you know, the... Hmm. Protect failing because we're using it after the wide guard again kind of shown when well, we shouldn't have just went for that play and we'll probably see a will o wisp now come out oh just a flare blitz okay so trying to get just stacking down the joint to the celestia but minus two it's not gonna be doing very much we should be healing a bit of damage back with that leech seed
I mean, the thing is here, if we get rid of the Arcanine, then Celestia can potentially win this game out by itself. It's the Arcanine that's the biggest issue at the moment. I'm confident that we can... The problem is the, the Ninetales goes for the Encore here, doesn't it? So we go for a will o -Wisp. Uh, flare blitz into it and we protect Celestina this turn to avoid that encore. Arcanine switching out, Tapu Lele coming in, yeah. Yeah, we can see that encore coming in, definitely. Yeah. Gotta imagine the Arcanine comes in now. She's a and yeah, the Aurora build is wear off. Okay. But I don't think oh it's the Garchon. Okay. Hmm. Let me just protect Arcanine here. We just heavy slam into the Lele. But the Arcanine will probably just come in on this slot. But I don't mind that because you get damage off onto it. I'm going to see a rock slide maybe from the Garchomp. Psychic to Arcanine. Garchomp rock slide. Please no flinch. No flinch. No flinch. No flinch. Heavy slam. Should be enough. Not nowhere near enough. But Peter playing this really well, he's gonna leave it right, he's gonna leave that off and right to the last moment for us to um, to bring in against. <sighs> Okay, this is a bit awkward because the Psychic would definitely take our Arcanine down now. Let's go for a double protect. Let's go for a leap seed into the Lele. Just to get some extra health back, I guess. We do get the double protect, which is pretty huge. The psychic into it. We need not to flinch here though again, so we need to avoid the flinch and we need to hit the leap seat. We do get oh it avoids okay. I kind of guess we deserve that probably. <laughs> but the guard chomp will go down here. Probably. We should have went for the the uh, the heavy slam. Can't Trump just survive? There's no way we get three three protects off. No way! No way! No way! I don't think there's much we can do here. Let's go for the heavy slam into the Lele. There's a psychic into the Arcanine. Go down, rock slide. Mm. 
it's the thing I think without our leftovers we don't really have much chance against the Arcanine once it comes in we take the Lele down we're going to get a beast boost but it's in special defense not the defense that we want it to be into Hail stops okay so there might be a smidgen of chance that we actually could possibly do this I really don't know though um how can I going to come in now? How much leftovers recovery can we get? Intimidate coming out. We really needed the intimidate, the last intimidate to allow our Celesteel. I will go for a protect here. But you've got to imagine that the Flare Blitz is going to do more than half damage normally. Okay. Flebless is definitely gonna be enough, you've got to imagine. But we can always hop and go for a lead seed. Maybe we survive and maybe we hit and maybe we win. But whatever, this has been a really good set. Flebless, it is enough. It is enough. Of course it was enough. It was never not gonna be enough, but very close game. Arcanine going down to recoil, so it's a tie. <laughs> I officially call tie. No, very good game to Peter and uh, props, making it super difficult there. And there was probably areas where we could have maybe played a little bit differently, but you know, when you're in the, the midst of a game and, and you know your, your mind's gone a million miles a second, it's really hard to distinguish how um, and what is sometimes the, the better player than not. But I think we did all right to kind of pull it as close as it was. And like I say, it ended up a tie. So we it was all square, both Pokemon. We ended up with nothing on the field. Um, so it's an officially a tie, obviously. But no, I'm only joking. Peter obviously took that. So, But it was really nice having Peter on the channel. So big shout out to him again. As always, his, his Twitter and things will be linked in the description below. And I just hope you guys have enjoyed the set. It's been really nice seeing him come on and um, pilot that team that he won that Bilbao Special Championships with as well. Um, and just see him kind of how, he's, how he pilots it. You can see the way he plays that and how well versed he is with that team. And no surprise he did so well in Bilbao bar with that team so and um, big props to peter again for for taking that big tournament and um we'll wrap things up there guys i hope you've enjoyed this week's best of three battler i've thoroughly enjoyed it it's been really good i'd love to hear your thoughts comments and anything feedback to do with the games the teams and things like that it'll be um excellent to hear as always guys um but we'll be back with another best of three battler next week got some more tasty tasty opponents lined up so hopefully you enjoy it as well guys and um i'll see you very soon thanks as always leave a like on the video if you have enjoyed it um and we'll be back probably with school hard knocks tomorrow maybe and uh, no, it'll be monday now because this is probably going up on friday um pre-recording issues in my head but no I'm not going to drag this on any longer guys have an amazing weekend and take care of yourselves and i will see you all next week thanks so much for the support as always bye bye guys bye bye